Hey y'all, I'm out here. I'm going to do our first homemade weapons video. And um, I'm out here, you know, not real far from my house. There's a bunch of, there's a squirrel back there, over there somewhere. Um, but there's a bunch of these trees around my house. Um, there's one over there that's a little bit bigger, there's a bunch right there. Um, and we've always called them ironwoods because it's a really, really tough wood. And um, spent the last 15 minutes or so chopping this tree down. Um, there's comparison to my hand. Freaking squirrels keep throwing crap at me. But my plan is to build a club with it. I'm going to cut it. I've already got that cut down there. I'm going to sort of square that off. And then come up here and probably cut it right there. And make a club out of it with that being the big end. And then tapering it down to a, you know, a two inch round handle probably. But that's what I've done so far. Let me get that other end chopped off and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I got it cut down and out of over there. Ugh. It's about, I don't know, not quite three feet long. And at the base is probably about five inches around down there which is going to be the end of the club I'm going to cut this fork off about right here probably sort of split it right there but it'll be fine um, and this will be small enough that I can get a good grip on it and that it'll be smaller and then the end will be a big old round club so let me get that in chopped off then I'll explain what I'm gonna do next okay so been working on it I decided I was just gonna cut a little bit of that and then leave it on there so I had a base to rest it on while I was narrowing down the wood for a handle there's the end of it I'm probably gonna go from about here down is the handle and from there up is the club so it'll be roughly half and half and I'm gonna cut that even so I just have a little bit more to go to make it even all the way around and then we're gonna take it up to the barn cut that off do a little bit of work on the handle smooth it out and clean that end up and that'll be it for this video but let me go up there and work on that and I'll get right back. I'm almost finished. I gave it a really, really thick handle because I didn't want it to break and I wanted it to be really, really heavy. All that's left is I'm going to sand it down in here. I don't have a belt sander so I'm going to have to go to one of my friend's houses. Sand everything down stain it and she'll be good to go that's it for this video um in the next video i'll do a little test with this thing and see what all i can break with it but in the meantime that's it for this video and you know what i'll throw in a little surprise at the end of this video but for now last shot of my little club I'm a